Hey YouTube, Turtle Axe here, bringing you another AFK Journey video. Today, by popular demand, I'm finally going to talk about Paragon Priority. Once you acquire 25 Supreme Plus units, you have the privilege of acquiring more copies in order to promote a character from Supreme Plus to Paragon 1. Thank you, Inglorious Hero. Appreciate you. Uh, and we are on Twitch, by the way, Twitch live stream. And, uh, you know, viewers in chat, you can say hi to YouTube, say hi to your mom, your friends, your uh, guild mates, your future self. And uh, basically what I want to do first is talk about why you would even Paragon any of your units. Why does it matter? What modes does it matter in? What are the benefits of getting Paragon? And then uh, we'll talk about the units who I believe are priorities for Paragoning, not just for Paragon 1, but also 2, 3, and 4. Now, what is Paragon? Paragon is basically the next promotion after Supreme Plus that you unlock once you acquire 25 Supreme Plus units. And as many of you know, this is quite the feat. This is pretty much unachievable right now for free-to-plays or even low spenders. Pretty much only dolphins and whales have the ability to even get Paragon 1s, let alone Paragons 2, 3, and 4. Paragons, as you can see with my Florabelle here, has the ability to grant these what's called rivalry stats. These rivalry stats are very impactful in any mode that involves competing against another real life player. And currently these modes are Arena PvP as well as Supreme Arena PvP. And rivalry stats, they grant you different bonuses. For instance, the energy regen reduction stat makes it so that when you hit an enemy as a Paragon unit, you lower their energy regeneration. Uh, and then energy on hit is when your paragon unit hits an enemy your paragon unit gains energy and energy by the way is used to cast your ultimate debuff is focus is your resistance to being debuffed uh, that increases your resistance to getting a debuff increases for paragon units resilience is your ability to recover from some sort of crowd control faster. Uh, the more resilience you have, the more re the faster your unit, your Paragon unit can shake off a debuff that was placed on to them, uh, such as say like a defense, physical defense shred, magic defense shred, that sort of thing. Damage boost, so your Paragon units will deal slightly more damage, and damage reduction you know, your Paragon unit will take slightly less damage. As you can imagine, these are quite impactful and very powerful. And so these are reserved for um, basically PVP modes. Now, uh, there was a misconception before that uh, Paragon only helped you in PVP, but that is partly untrue. Uh, that's actually completely untrue. Uh, Paragon also grants you additional basic stats, notably HP, attack, physical, and magic defense. You can kind of see the amount of each that you would get. And these are PVE stats. You will benefit from these stats when you clear AFK stages, do drill runs, um, clear the faction tower, any mode, really, Trial of the Abyss, uh, these stats, these are essentially stats that use, can be, that are given to you for any mode. It's kind of like r raising your resonance level. So Paragoning does help in that regard as well, but mainly you get them for the rivalry stats. Uh, and so now that we've talked about that, uh, how many copies of a unit does it take to get from Supreme Plus to Paragon 1? 2.5% increase in stats. Uh, thank you, Red Nut. So that is equivalent to, say, bringing a character from EX Weapon Level uh, 5, or EX Level, EX Weapon Level 11 to 12, or 12 to 13. It's kind of like that. Okay. So now, uh, you know, for Hypogenin Celestials, 
like Scarleta, you need four copies of them in order to go from Supreme Plus to Paragon 1. For normal S rank characters, such as Thorn and Aeron, it takes six copies to get them from Supreme Plus to Paragon 1. And then um, for A rank characters, it takes 45 copies to get from Supreme Plus to Paragon 1, etc. And you need the equivalent amount to get them from Paragon 1 to 2, 2 to 3, um, and 3 to 4 might have different numbers, I don't actually know. Uh, but And then uh, to go from Paragon 1 to Paragon 2, you need to acquire, and actually it, I do have it here, it says here, that you need to unlock Paragon 2, you need to ascend 20 heroes to Paragon 1 first before you unlock Paragon 2. Uh, and then same thing, you need to ascend 20 Paragon 2s in order to unlock Paragon 3. You need to ascend 15 Paragon 3s to unlock Paragon 4. And um, I need to ask my guildmate if there's anything after Paragon 4. Uh, so far, I don't know anyone who has gotten above Paragon 4. And from my understanding, the people who have Paragon 4 have spent at least 40k on this game. Oh, 13 Paragon 1s, grats. Thank you, Reggie. Appreciate you, appreciate you. And by the way, guys, Paragon 1 is a discussion mainly for people who actually spend money on this game. Because just to give you some context, I've spent about um 7k on this game maybe actually i'm at 7.5k at this point and i'm more than halfway to paragon 2 so like a paragon 2 person probably has spent maybe 10k on this game and then a paragon 3 person has probably spent like 20k on this game and then a paragon 4 has prob or 25k and then a Paragon 4 player probably has spent like 35 to 40 plus K on this game. So uh, this is not what many people will have. Uh, and uh, okay, so now that we've talked about that, let's go ahead and talk about um, which units to prioritize for Paragoning. Uh, I would say that uh, when it comes to both Arena PvP and Supreme Arena PvP modes, um, the high yield character, high yield heroes are going to be um, Aeron, Arden, Scarleta as your first three. And the reason I say this is because Aeron and Arden, no brainer. Because Aeron, Arden teams are king in Arena PvP and Supreme Arena PvP, and they are multi target units that can really maximize the energy on hit, the energy damage reduction, right? Because they're AOE targets. Aeron's ridiculous because at the start of the match, he ults, which means that all five, or basically all of the enemies caught in that ultimate get energy reduction and grant Aeron more energy, right? Because energy on hit, enemy damage reduction, you know, that sort of thing. Arden's the same thing. He's constantly hitting pretty much all five of the enemies at any given time, which means he's getting a lot of energy on hit. And also all five enemies are also losing energy when they get hit by a Paragon to Arden. You, so you get what I'm saying. And then Scarleta is an excellent unit to Paragon as well because uh, she is... She has both offensive and defensive capabilities, uh, and and so, and she also has multi-target capabilities. Uh, so uh, you know, with her swings and whatnot, and when she plops to the ground, she stuns, and she's invincible for the first twelve seconds. So, you know, no one can take her energy away, uh, and and she's like impacting the enemy. So. Anyways, uh, those are examples. Thorn, I think, is also a very high priority Paragon unit just because he also has multi-target capabilities. He's a tank as well, so he will appre appreciate damage reduction and debuff, you know, reduction. Uh, 
other arena PvP units like Damien, for example, will appreciate the damage reduction. Haywin will appreciate damage reduction. Carolina, you know, is a lot of Aeron comp comps run her, and she is an AoE mage, so she's an excellent target for Paragoning. Those, I would say, are the top priorities for arena PvP anyways. Um, also, Dionel, uh, a lot of Dionel teams, you know, require him as a hyper carry. So having him Paragon and with him being multi-target will allow him to, you know, get the energy on hit, you know, do the energy reduction, that sort of thing. And he's a very squishy unit, so damage reduction is especially important on him. Burials also, if you're running a burial zoo comp, which is not super popular in arena PvP, but is definitely popular in supreme arena PvP, he's also an excellent paragon target. In supreme arena, Vala is also a very spicy target because, you know, she can, you can, based on her positioning, focus on an enemy that you want at you know before you start the battle and that can allow you to manipulate their energy and that sort of thing which is going to be very helpful um what else uh oh and you know uh Odi is also a very good target if you're running the full mauler team uh in supreme arena uh who else so a lot of Supreme Arena comps are now uh, countering Diano with Vala and Sylvina. So Sylvina is also a very good Paragon target. Uh, who else? I do believe Granny, because in Supreme Arena, tanks, good tanks are at a premium. Uh, or there's not many of them. You got Thorn, you got Granny, and that's kind of it. There is a case to be made that, you know, Brutus or Lucius would be good tanks, but really... Every team desperately wants either a Thorn or a Granny. Let's be real here. So uh, Granny is also another good Paragon target. Uh, who else? Floribel, because you do need Floribel in a zoo comp with Burial. So Floribel is a very good Paragon target. I'm actually trying to get her Paragon right now. And then uh, Rainier is surprisingly amazing in Supreme Arena PvP, as well as I think he's being played more now in offensive uh, Arena PvP comps. So Rainier is also another good target for Paragoning. Um, anything else? I think those would probably be the highest yield units to Paragon. And then from there, it really depends on the units that you're running for your three Supreme Arena teams. Um, as I mentioned in a previous video, there's pretty much five major, six major archetypes for Supreme Arena teams. Uh, and by the way, this is Supreme Arena in case you guys are curious. This, is, this comes with Song of Strife. This requires you to build three different teams. And so as you can see here, I have a Floribel burial team. Uh, I have an Aeron Arden team. I have a Vala, um, a Vala team. And so, uh, oh, and then there's also the Mauler team that runs like Brutus, Shakir, Coco, um, Odie, you know, uh, and then there's also, there's so many variations. There's also Sylvina Vala comps that have attacked me before where they focus target on one enemy. Uh, and they sometimes, and there's also uh, interesting teams that run Igor as well. Uh, so there's any, any team that requires uh, you know, any team that in Supreme Arena that, um, you know, those units are going to be good candidates for Paragon. But uh, just in summary, uh, the highest priority units are going to be, I would say Arden, Aeron, 
Scarlita, Doran, Haywin, Damien to start with. And then you can kind of expand to like Gra Granny, Rowan, Odie, Vala, Sylvina, uh, to some extent Shakir, Burial, Rainier, Florabelle, Dionel, uh, maybe, maybe Ulsa for the um, map to the Raging Duel map in Supreme Arena, uh, Coco. See, Laika, if you're running her in a Dionel team, Laika probably you will need a Paragon one. Uh, Niru, if you want to improve the survivability of, of Dionel. And Parisa is actually seeing more play now. So she's also a worthy candidate of Paragon winning or getting Paragon four. Some people are using Reese. Uh, I haven't seen it in my district, but some of my viewers are saying that Reese is sometimes used in the Mahler comp to counter Aeron comps. So these are all considerations. Uh, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Uh, if you guys have any additional suggestions, you can leave a comment below, and I will see you in the next video.